Weapons are extremely popular in video games. Whether it's a first-person shooter like Call of Duty, a strategy game like Civilization VI, or a 2D platformer as in Spelunky, you'll definitely find them. And I, for a project, wanted to play around with these. Namely in the tower defense area, so here's what I learned. You know, guns come in a plethora of shapes and sizes. There are the swift, the slow, the silent, the odd, the ancient, the special, just to name a few. They are all distinct and unique, having their own set of abilities, power-ups and style. For this one, I went with sci-fi, not only because it has good aesthetic, but also because it allows for a lot of creativity. There are no limits, thus endless options. So, I went down a rabbit hole of code and ended up with these three different guns shooting at some random targets passing by. The first is a machine gun that fires two bullets per second with poor accuracy. The second is a bit slower, shooting almost a single bullet every one and a half seconds, but is quite good at targeting. And the third, well, a laser beam. That's the fastest of them all, but definitely not the strongest. If I go ahead and press the pause button, you'll see all of these settings that control everything on the machine. The type, the reload time, the number of bullets it can fire at once, and even the finer details like the aim state, which is represented by the speed the turrets rotate towards the target. It's a bit complicated, not gonna lie, but it gives me complete control as a programmer, and knowing that all three machines are using the same custom script, that's pretty impressive to be honest. Now, to keep things interesting, I won't go into too much detail about the code part of things, but in general, if your target is in range, the game object will detect it, latch onto it and shoot until it's out of sight again. Just a typical turret mechanic. All of this is handled by Raycasts, a performance friendly design that is also in charge of this entire 3D world projection in the first place. So rather than sprinkling thousands of bullets into the memory, we simply check for a hit, deal damage and then in a smart sneaky way, cover it up with particles, barrel flash, screen shake and the impact effect that I think rewards the player in some way. However, there will be times when the game developer is forced to use fully solid bullet game objects. So just out of curiosity, I made this sci-fi cannon, which is obviously using another script that spawns a big fat projectile. And here it's actually recommended by Unity to use just that to move things instead of transforms, for some performance reasons as well. Of course, this system has its own benefits, one of which is the realism it provides to the weapon, but continuing down this path forces me to develop further means to prevent both clutter and lag. I would love to try out new genres of weapons and turrets, but for the time being that's all I've got for you, and yeah, peace.